Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where it's been a rough day. It's actually been a pretty rough week. Um, but uh, alas, not alas, despite uh, that I am trying to be so quiet. It's really hard. It's probably weirder if I sound like I'm whispering. Um, but I meant to look at what we we're doing. We are still on Ilium, technically. So we have Liara's system hacking. We have Miranda's mission. That might be it. We can actually go. Oh no! I was still in the middle of talking to people. That's right. Let's go. Ow. We do need to go talk to Miranda. And Garrus. Uh. Oh, did you see Chakwas? She like came into being. This game is so smooth. Hello, Chakwas. I know, I know she doesn't say anything different, so. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the <laughs> hell out of me. Yeah, they're really creepy. That's my big issue with being abducted by aliens. Oh, she probably, because we haven't done her thing yet, so. If we have time, yeah. I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. Wait, what? Was there something else? If we have time, I'd like no. to go okay. to Ilium and yeah. relocate. I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. We good? We good on that front? I don't know why. I always, not always, but sometimes I play like this, where like my, like it's like my head direction is following her head direction, but I don't need to do that. But it's easier if I can see more in front of me. <laughs> Shepard's body blocks the door. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? <laughs> Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. <laughs> Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here also, if you need me. I know you guys can hear my clickety-clackety of my controller really loudly. And I apologize for that. I don't know how to change it. It's not even like the controller is that close to the mic. <sighs> Jack's not gonna say anything different. Grunt might. Oh, also, I did double check as far as I can tell. Me grabbing Tally won't start the next mission. Like, it won't start an unskippable mission. Um, so that's good. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Uh, humans talk too mm -hmm. much. Like the tank. Come back later. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. That's all for now. Shepard. That's my boy in his armor. I gotta check Jack. Did I not? I feel like I didn't change Jack's clothes. Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy? Peachy. I didn't. I didn't change Jack's clothes. I changed Grunts. I swear I changed Jack's clothes. I'm gonna need to do that. Ugh. So probably after this, we'll do the system hacking for the R, because that doesn't actually take too long. As long as it doesn't chuck us into the Shadow Broker DLC. This mission takes me back. Oh, yeah. Explain. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I think it's a little weird that Joker says he's like me but takes checks, because I think he's a lot more ruthless than my Shepard is. Maybe if she was a renegade. I'm trying to remember, what was his name? Salarian Infiltration Specialist, 100 Story Man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. 
had to kill him for a job. Your Mordant Solus kind of reminds me of him. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you for that. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. If I could romance Aid, I would. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I have wide and varied taste. Um. No messages for you, Commander. I can't believe I have to change Jack's shirt. There we go. I think the biker chick look is good. Oh, that's right. Oh, see. <laughs> okay, I actually really love the red and black, but I and I do love the sunglasses. But it is also really ridiculous to be running around inside a building with him with the sunglasses on. It's it's hilarious. Cause he doesn't have any. Uh, Changed his well, and they think they each get one. Like these are like the DLC appearances, but I think when you get their loyalty, they get like, like the people who we don't have one. They'll get one. Thanks, just special. Okay. Like I could try clickety clacketing, less hard. Give. We are uh, into. Let me let me land. Anyway. Um I don't I think actually if we had brought Karis with us when we first met Liara, I'm pretty sure she does say something to him. I should have done that, alas. squad I really should if I'm gonna take these two out I really should specialize in tech but here I am I have throw so I'll work up his warp Hello. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? <laughs> oh, I love this. The 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 discrepancy of what you expect a Krogan to sound like and then this guy shows up. <laughs> it's amazing. It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, it's so good. Renegade! I call Renegade for that! Frick! Okay, after this we need to do Saeed's mission. Like, like legit. Oof. Oh, it's very Star Wars, um, prequels, honestly. Reminds me of the prequels. Can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business, followed by a freeze as new colony plants dry up. Just watch. So, so. Oh, people manipulating the market. Let's see, where did she? Uh-huh, I 
Okay, I know where they are. Oh, and I need to talk to Connor too, actually. Show him the error of his ways. Never believe what happened. I've got the data. Don't ask. Just call it a gift. Just spread the word. The family will be okay. Interesting. So you have the Hanar something the Hanar is saying. We hope that you, the viewer, will decide. I think it was really complaining against. Oh, I can't remember. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours plus overtime. Okay, listen, give Fax a full refund. Do you hear me? He knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. And then get your ass someplace safe. Hmm. Okay. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. Okay, let's see how this goes. I have vague recollections. No, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. Ah. She's part Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. These pigs are sorry, you're so. <laughs> I was gonna say racist, but elitist? I don't know. Sometimes you say these things. Here we go. I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're. you're. The word you're looking for is pure blood. Oh no. Everyone's getting all weird about it. You know, though, it doesn't really come up too much. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. It seems weird that that would be like a motivation. Because they don't, I don't think technically Salarians don't really have like sexual urges in like the same way. Because they just, they just have eggs, <laughs> you know. But, I think it comes up. But, you would, I don't know, you would think the uh, Asari pure blood thing would come up a little more. I'm trying! Oh my gosh, it's locked behind me. No, it's over there. I couldn't get to it. I better not pull the same crap. I actually ended up looking up that paper I wrote on um, Samara. And it was very... Um, I can't. It was very stream of consciousness. <laughs> Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Salarians think about me. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. Stupid drug users you're laughing at. I might have been one of them. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Mm. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Mm, there's so much drama. Oops. Has gone into what? Effect, targeting low-income children on Earth. 
where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. What? That's cool. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women <gasps> to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. That's cool. That's really neat. I know it's sort of like taking advantage of my name, but still. How many times am I going to have to do this? This hacking min this hacking thing for Liara is extra weird when you're like playing the game without the DLC. Cause like you're just You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good you're enough. You're just for um Yeah, I've uh, got What about a fish? She <gasps> loves the garden. Yeah. We could add a pond. Shepherd, this no, I messed up. I got the data. Come see me. Maybe a shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a card. Ilium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Asari skin color and the Doppler effect? <laughs> Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Hey, <laughs> God, I'm gonna leave and go back, because this one's really sad. Well, it's, like, really sweet. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? I am. Why not? Every assault. Her first mate. Your father? He got her things when he traveled. It's not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. And I'm almost 35. Hey, I remember him. And I want to remember you. That's why I came on this trip. Egg. <laughs> Having a Solarian it's just, lover we're looking would for be weapons. odd. Not a fish. Something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. <laughs> How about this Ooh. one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's so many little things that just show up in this game. Like the interactions Trust me, between, the like, from the you know, Asari pure bloods and like you know the opinions know. Some of them seem that dangerous. Asari have on pure bloods and like the R. Yeah, I can't concentrate. I don't. I have my ADHD is really bad. But like you know. We're picking up on like little cultural nuances, and it's really, really cool, and it's so sweet. With this Larian, because like that, they have the shortest lifespan out of everybody. They live like to be fifty is like pretty freaking old for a Solarian, and so like for an Asari with like the longest lifespan to like fall in love with a Solarian is like wild. And I think in one of the codex entries, you can actually read that like most Solar or most Asari daughters of Solarian sorry unions don't really remember their fathers because they they're like children still I mean they kind of do but like you know when you get to be like you know 300 and you only lived with your dad for like say 35 40 years of your life like you know it's like a, they're like vague memories you know so okay. I, okay, I'm gonna go. The Materians claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system. Slavery is an inextricable part of our caste system. Oh, you can actually. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off world. Didn't say where. Probably smart. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. You hear that thing? She'll buy you, she'll buy you a drink. Is this, uh, yeah. No, yes. Another difficult development for human expansion as the colony on Horizon has been attacked. The council has suggested that the attacks are a tragic coincidence, likely Dang. the result of Batarian slave traders or isolated pirate attacks. Oh, is that what they're saying? The fabricated complexes are rejoicing, however, as the repair and rebuilding plan spike. Mm, and then we're talking about like the shares spiking for prefab. Yep, your arm is. Oh my gosh. There's just so much little tidbits. Being at a higher altitude make you more intelligent. Our report may surprise you. Oh. Commissioned by the architectural agency has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of health. Oh, that's 
so funny. A, a, a commission by the Architectural Association for living in elevated environments increases your intelligence. A. No. <laughs> B. People who are living at like higher elevated, like you know, uh, like apartments or whatever, are oftentimes the higher you get, the wealthier you are. For whatever reason, wealthy people like to live up high. I don't know why. Um, and well, I know why. It's a superiority complex. But um, <laughs> those people are often, due to circumstances and privilege, pretty intelligent. Okay. I want to say like half the time, but like, you know, they have the opportunity and the availability of like a better education generally. And so obviously <laughs> they're probably going to test better in intelligence scores than a bunch of people living in the slums who don't have, oh my gosh, I almost broke my TV screen again, who don't have access to like better education. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things wrong with it. Plus, the architectural association, the people who are trying to sell these high rises, and then they turn into an ad. Oh my gosh! It's amazing. It's amazing. This is a capitalist hellscape. The R's over here. Wait. All right. Let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to one hundred and sixteen thousand four hundred and twenty credits. Oh, of course. Uh, I, uh, 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 uh. I just need to make a call. I should uh, check the warranty first. Loser. Loser. The people here are asked to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. I understand that kind of life would be attractive to some people, but not to me. But She's also got the Liara problem of, like, fondling herself in public. What? Did you see that? She, like, did the whole... Liara does that ex did that exact move where she, like, rub her hand down her front. At least Liara's boobs look natural. The scandal rock story what? of Asana Dantius has come to a tragic end as the businesswoman was killed in her office. While police have no formal suspects, Dantius was no stranger to controversy, making many enemies during her climb to power. The stocks in Dantius's corporation have risen as a result of the news, with hope for more stable times for the troubled company. <laughs> just stare at Thane. No one knows who it is, and he just like stares at a wall. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Hello. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here. It's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Thanks. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Hey. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I mean, I have pretty good resources. I have an AI. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? I can go help her. Yeah, not right now. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Help Liara later. I'm watching you. I know what you're gonna do. Ilium is the 
Conversations start repeating. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue. Damn it! This is just a misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. <laughs> what happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. Uh, I need the Paragon. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Mm -hmm. Really? You did a great job, Conrad. Now please, go home. <laughs> Let me take it from here. <laughs> Can do, Shepard. And thanks. Really? It's really good to have you back. He says it like a puppy who's been kicked. Really? Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. <laughs> Um, what's it like being in a story? Right, maybe it's pretty much like being anything yeah. else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. That's what I'm here for, babe. I'm good. Catch just looking around. Pleasure as always. Last time I got a drink in the bar, I ended up puking my guts out. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat He's you. He's a right. nice guy. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Mm. Don't let some human spoil mm. you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat. Nice guy. Mm hmm. <laughs> like, guy. I mean, shoot your shot, to be fair. But, you know, if she's not into it, don't be weird about it. I actually need to run back to the ship really quick. Um, I think I will call this one here and just run to the ship really fast because after this we're going to do Miranda's mission while we're here on Ilium. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I realize you know, I can't be as like, you know, loud and emotive as I usually am. So I appreciate you guys for watching still. Um, and hopefully soon I will have uh, my ADD meds and I'll be able to think like a normal human being which will be super group super, <laughs> super duper great and I can stay focused <laughs> um, anyway thank you all for listening to me ramble on about my favorite video game I appreciate it um, and oh really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially my sapling tier patron Reese Galito thank you very much for your support really truly and uh, I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher who is my tree tier patron who is the super bestest and has the best comments and thank you so much honestly for all your support and thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one